Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. A Bitcoin futures ETF is finally here. So I wanted to take a minute to talk about this. First, let's break down the basics of a Bitcoin futures ETF. Then after, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into a number of institutional investor reports, their thoughts on Bitcoin ETFs in general, and why I think the gains we are seeing now as a result of this Bitcoin futures ETF are going to be tiny compared to the ones that are yet to come with a number of other investment products. Also, as promised, we just added new spots to the Patreon. I know that there have been about 500 people who have wanted to get in over the last couple of days as Patreon has been completely sold out. So make sure to go ahead, grab one of those now before we sell out again. In addition to benefits like daily live streams, buy and sell alerts, you're also going to get pre-sale access to my brand new NFT collection. There'll be more details on that in the Patreon group. Anyways, the first ever Bitcoin futures ETF is going live on October 19th, 2021. This is a big day for crypto and many people are saying that this is the day of 2021 that will be remembered, that will be a milestone for years to come. Many people are saying that this Bitcoin futures ETF is going to provide convenient access to Bitcoin in a wrapper that has market integrity, basically meaning that a lot of institutions and a lot of big money players don't want to keep Bitcoin directly on their balance sheet because of regulatory issues and because of certain aspects with accounting and tracking. It makes it much easier if they they could just go to the stock market, go to the New York Stock Exchange where they normally buy stocks and other investments and get into crypto rather than have to make an account with Coinbase or go to another institutional investor service. So that is a big deal and it is very exciting for crypto. But a Bitcoin futures ETF falls short of what many people and many purists in the crypto world want because a Bitcoin futures ETF is not the same as a regular Bitcoin ETF. So like I said, the first ever Bitcoin futures ETF is gonna be the ProShares Bitcoin futures ETF. It's gonna start trading on the New York Stock Exchange, but again, this is not the same as a Bitcoin ETF. So the difference between a Bitcoin futures ETF and a Bitcoin ETF is that a Bitcoin futures ETF essentially is buying a futures contract where if you buy it, you're obligated to take possession of the underlying commodity or stock or whatever it is at the time of the expiration. So it's very similar to an option, except with an option, you're saying if you buy a call, well, you're giving yourself the option to buy in the future at a specific price, at a specified price. But with a futures contract, you are obligated to buy. So it's similar to an option, except options, you're given the option to buy, futures, you are required and obligated to buy at that specified time period, at that specified time in the future. That is the main difference. So essentially, a futures contract allows um, traders and investors to speculate on the direction or the movement of the market. So with Bitcoin, if you think Bitcoin's gonna go up in the future, well, you can speculate on that. And if you're right, well, you'll make money. If you think it's gonna go down, well, you can invest in that and you can make money if the market goes down. You're just betting on the direction of Bitcoin, which is very different from a Bitcoin ETF. A regular Bitcoin ETF would be that this ETF owns underlying, it owns Bitcoin for every single person who owns it, and it directly mimics the price. A Bitcoin futures ETF does not. So as a result of this, many investment advisors and people in the traditional financial world are actually extremely skeptical about this Bitcoin futures ETF. And many of them are saying that it's actually pretty hard for them to recommend this to their clients because there are better options out there. So right now, what, for example, Ben um, Krushank, head of Flourish, an investing platform owned by um, Mass Mutual. They currently work with over, they oversee over $1 trillion in assets. He said that the feedback that he's getting is that this futures, uh, Bitcoin futures ETF is a less efficient form of ownership and it's simply a hard thing for uh, them, for in their uh, customers to justify investing in. He said that's not his feedback. That's not what he thinks, his opinion. That is simply the feedback that many firms are telling him. So what it looks like is that people obviously value convenience, 
over you know which product to invest in. And even though a Bitcoin futures ETF is available on the New York Stock Exchange, a lot of institutional investors seem to think, according to this data, according to what he is saying, seem to think that a Bitcoin futures ETF actually isn't more convenient because it's not investing in the underlying Bitcoin. You're betting on future price movements. So as a result of this, we're also seeing a number of big money players and billionaires like Mark Cuban says he's not going to invest in a Bitcoin futures ETF because he can simply create a Coinbase account in five minutes or less and he can direct invest directly in to Bitcoin. He doesn't need to worry about that. And I think we're going to see a lot of other people feel the same way about a Bitcoin futures ETF. So while this is a very big day for crypto, and I think it's going to bring billions of dollars into the market, it is not this big watershed moment that everyone is talking about. I think that is going to be more with the Bitcoin ETF, because like Mark Cuban is saying, is that he wants to invest directly into Bitcoin, not into future price movements with a Bitcoin futures ETF. He wants to invest directly into Bitcoin. So I think many institutional investors are going to hold out. They may stay on the sidelines until we see a Bitcoin ETF approved. So while this is a good thing, we're going to see billions of dollars in coming in. I don't think the gains we are going to see from this Bitcoin futures ETF are going to be as big as everyone things. And I don't think they're going to be nearly as big as the one that comes from a Bitcoin ETF. So that brings us to the question, well, when is a Bitcoin ETF going to be approved? When are we going to see all these hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars coming to the market that everyone is talking about? Well, that is looking like it's going to take place in mid-November 2021, because the SEC recently had delayed a decision on a Vanek Bitcoin ETF three times. SEC is only allowed to delay these decisions three separate times. And after that, they have to make a decision either to approve it or deny it. So now that we saw a Bitcoin futures ETF approved, it is much more likely that they're going to pass other investment products like other Bitcoin futures ETFs and probably even a Bitcoin ETF. So the date that I am looking at, the date that we need to keep an eye out on is going to be November 14th, 2021. That is the date where the SEC has to make a decision on this Vanek Bitcoin ETF. And that is the date where the first Bitcoin ETF could be approved. So it's looking very likely that this is going to happen simply because we already now have Bitcoin futures ETFs. The next step is going to be a regular Bitcoin ETF. So while the gains, like we said, are going to be significant, they're going to be from a Bitcoin futures ETF. They're going to be very small and tiny in comparison to the ones that we're going to see over the next three to six months as a result from a regular Bitcoin ETF. Either way, though, my opinion now is the best time to be getting in. It's really the calm before the storm, before we start to see big money players pour hundreds of billions into crypto. So that is what I'm doing. I'm continuing to accumulate more. Um, that coupled with overall market sentiment, the fear and greed index, and other major catalysts, now is the best time. But let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.